We all know the Ram TRX is a beast going off-road and it's got all the specs, but how is it to daily drive? Today we're going to talk about that. I've been living with this and driving with it for a little while. Let's get started. Now under the hood, the thing that makes this so beastly is the Hellcat engine, a 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 with 702 horsepower and zero to 60 in four and a half seconds. It has such good airflow, a good air induction system for steady supply of air through the grill and the functional hood scoop. And it's got the largest air filter in the segment at trapping dust. Now the outside and the engineering and suspension is just next level. You've got two inches of extra ride height for almost 12 inches of ground clearance. This is taller, it's wider. You've got a thicker frame on here than your typical half ton Ram. A new suspension, you've got these special attention to caster and camber angles as well. A Dana 60 solid rear axle that is electronic locking, plus the TRX exclusive front and rear two and a half inch Bilstein shocks with adaptive damping. Wheel travel is phenomenal at about 13 inches at all four corners, way more than typical Rams, even five skid plates underneath, and this really awesome looking hourglass body design. Plus up front, you'll even get full LED headlights, even some big tow hooks, and the LED clearance lights matched with this hydro blue pearl paint, massive fenders for an extra eight inches of width, even 35 inch tires are standard exclusively for this TRX, and you can get beadlock wheels optional, so your tires are not gonna come off. Plus you've got large 15 inch brake rotors, the optional rock rails on the sides for extra protection in place of a step, LED tail lamps, and look at these massive five inch dual exhaust, even some oversized tow hooks. Okay, now as we take a look at the truck bed, this is gonna be your standard size, your only option, a five foot, seven inch bed. One nice thing, with the tall ride height, makes it harder to get in, but you get this optional step right here, which is really nice. This even has the electronic tailgate. You can open it up with your key fob. It is lockable. You can still get this bed liner back here. We've got different tie downs. So you've got these movable tie downs with the cleats on these rails on each side. I did get to tie something down back here and it worked really well having those movable tie downs. Those are absolutely awesome. A fixed tie down in each corner plus LED bed lining as an option too. Now taking a look at the front seats, we have optional seats. These are leather, they're heated and ventilated, and they're actually really comfortable too. Even the steering wheel has full tilt and telescoping adjustments, and the pedals can be electronically moved forward or backwards too. So it's really not hard to get a comfortable position. The headrest is even adjustable like that, if you like it to be that far forward. But I've been very comfortable in here, and I love all the settings. Plus there's even memory settings in here, so if you're sharing it with somebody, it's perfect. One nice thing about these TRX seats is, first of all, you've got TRX embroidered in it, but it also has big bolsters on the sides, which make this even a little bit more confidence inspiring when you're actually driving fast. Now, I still want to show you the back of the truck because you've got some good materials on the door. You've got good storage right here, a couple different storage area, and there's tons of space. So this is super practical if you're hauling people or hauling gear around. You've got a giant center folding armrest with cup holders, soft armrest, even some extra storage inside. And those of you that are parents, because some of you will be parents, you've got a ton of space for car seats back here and some pretty easy to access anchors. There's still a grab handle to get in. You've got some extra straps on both sides, plus some good size mat pockets. And of course, you can still fold this up to have this load floor here, and this section can move out to help block in some different items. I really love having the split folding seat. You're even spoiled back here. You've got cup holders, air conditioning vents, four USB charging ports, look at that, plus heated and ventilated seats. Those are optional, but that's amazing. Heated and ventilated, plus this 115 volt outlet. I mean, this has features that luxury vehicles don't have. You've got four USBs, heated and ventilated seats, and more room than most vehicles will give you. Now hopping inside, the TRX key fob is pretty nice. You've got your branding and even remote start and opening up your key fob. But we've got push button start right here. Nice startup, nice sound, even a nice little TRX graphic up there. The interior is nice and functional for the most part, very similar to other Rams, so I'm gonna go kind of quick. First of all, over on the door, nice soft materials all around you, even a carbon fiber package on this one. Storage there, storage there, those movable foam cup holders. This is the special TRX steering wheel as well. You have some leather and some suede on here with the carbon fiber, giant paddle shifters, and it's even heated. 
pretty standard RAM gauge setup with the physical gauges and the digital in the middle with tons of different information you can go through on there, including some off-road information and performance information too. This does give us a head-up display, which is an optional feature. It's got good amount of information on there too. Coming over, the dash is even softly lined, some suede there and storage area right here with a 12 volt power outlet right there, which is nice. Plus more storage over here. This little TRX carbon fiber looking piece folds up for extra storage in addition to the massive locking glove box. You're probably familiar with the Uconnect 5 system. This is a 12 inch touchscreen. Now this is the largest screen from RAM. You still have some physical controls like AC controls and some more over there, volume and tuning knob. Otherwise, mostly everything else is on the screen. You can have some shortcuts for different things like I can quickly get to the camera if I want to. You can designate different favorites. The surround view camera is nice to have, especially with a super wide truck like this. You can see the left or the right side the back or the front and the typical surround view camera, even an extra camera for your trailer. I love how Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are wireless and there's even a wireless charging mat right there. Plus you can have two phones down there and you can have them both connected via Bluetooth. You've even got four USB ports there, an extra storage area there. Right above it, you still get trailer brake controller and this trailer steering assist. So if you're actually gonna back up a trailer in your TRX, you can get this as an option to where it backs it up for you. The drive modes are over here. Now, this is full-time four-wheel drive, so it's gonna be four-wheel drive auto. You still have your low and your high or your rear axle locker, launch control if you wanna have fun, your off-road cruise control, select track, uh, traction control, and then your drive modes up here. You can press the TRX button and things will pop up on the screen. So you can change your drive modes and see what all is affected. The center console is nice. I prefer the moving center console from RAM, but you still have storage down there. Good size cup holders, an actual shifter. This is pretty nice and it says TRX on here, how many horsepower, what engine you have. You've got a big storage area in there, plus massive storage down here with another 115 volt plug. That is really nice. Another great option for visibility is this camera this rear view mirror camera you can have a regular mirror or you can have it act as a camera for perfect visibility still got garage controls up overhead that mirror can be auto dimming if you want led lighting in here it's just a nice overall interior super easy to live with now driving the ram trx it is just next level acceleration i mean even just partial throttle You've got that supercharger whine. You can hear the exhaust. It's still actually fairly comfortable to drive. Maneuvering it obviously is a little bit of a different story because it's, it's big, it's wide, it's tall, but it's just fun. It's an absolute blast to drive and it drives really well for what it is. Full-time four-wheel drive too. You don't miss your traction at all. All right, y'all, I wanted to give you a quick point of view reference of driving this. You've got great ride height. You still have good visibility. If you're comfortable driving the regular Ram half ton or other half ton trucks, you'll get comfortable very quickly in here. But I just want you to hear and feel and see what I see because it's just phenomenal driving this truck. So we're just in regular auto mode right now. And you still got that supercharger whine. Acceleration is very good throughout the whole power band. The steering actually does feel pretty nice too. There's not much to complain about as far as driving this truck. You don't even really need launch control. You do have a launch control button, but you can brake torque it. You've got all wheels going with power. Just pedal down right here. just gets going you can feel the truck squat a little bit as it goes and it's just it's just so fun the sound is just absolutely intoxicating too and it handles well too i mean i'm just gonna put us in sport mode anyways but the steering feels good the suspension feels nice and it's actually fairly comfortable as far as the ride comfort goes Now, unfortunately, I don't have a good off-road area to take this, and we just got a few inches of rain, so it is soupy, soupy, soupy all over. But 
you know how well this does. I just want you to, I just wanted you to see a video about daily driving it, living with it, the practicality of it. And of course, it's still fun on road or off road. You can feel the weight of this truck, but it still corners well. And it brakes well too. If you get on the brakes, it slows you down quickly. But I hope you enjoyed this test drive. Let's wrap things up. So to wrap things up on this Ram TRX, this thing is just awesome. It's so fun to drive. Obviously it's a big vehicle, it's wider, it's taller. It's gonna be a little bit more annoying in a day-to-day -day aspect as far as loading things, parking it, navigating traffic, but everything else, it's plush, it's luxurious, it's comfortable, it's fast and fun, and it's just got the sickest looks of what a lot of trucks have nowadays. The practicality in here is really awesome too as far as the space, the storage, the cubbies. I mean, there's so much to like about it. I'd love to know what you think. Daily driving it, it's overkill, but if you just wanna have fun, you wanna have something that's capable and looks like this and drives like this, it's really hard to beat. I hope you enjoyed this video. A thumbs up would be super helpful. If you liked it, subscribe for more down below and have a great day.